y'all what's up my name is Avery and today is day one of vlogmas so yes this is my first vlogmas video um I obviously adore vlogmas videos um and just daily vlogging in general and I've never done a daily vlog before um so I'm very excited for this I've only really done weekly vlogs I kind of find it very daunting because of how much editing there has to be done at the end of the night <laughs> Um, so we'll see how this goes because I've never done it before. I am currently in my parents' new house. My parents moved during the last couple weeks of November. They're still not completely moved out of our old family home. With their new house, we live in Texas, obviously. I'm not going to tell you we're in Texas, but we live in Texas. And um, we kind of like live in the country now. Um, we have a couple acres of land or one acre of land. I honestly don't know, but it's mostly like we have a woods in our backyard. I'll show you. I feel like like a cullen, like I have like a woods like surrounding my house. <laughs> There's also a creek on our property, which is really cool, which I have not been able to get to because um, the previous owners of this house haven't really taken care of like the wood area the woods area um, So there's not really Space to go down there. There's like just brush everywhere. So with this house There's also an apartment which I am in currently. So there's the main house You can see out that window. You can't see it But out that window is the main that's the house that my parents bought and attached to it um, attached to the garage is an apartment so this is the apartment that my sister and i share my sister is actually back at school though taking finals i don't have any finals all of my classes were project based so i got all of my finals done so i am done i'm also done with work that i had i worked for my department that i was in the education department i worked for it um and that is done for the semester so i'm completely free of all responsibilities <laughs> so i live in this we call it a casita um, with my sister and um, this is the first time we've ever had stairs and it's only in the casita. We don't have stairs in the main house, um, but I live on the first floor. I'd show you what it looks like, but it's honestly a hot mess express in here. Like it is dirty and messy because we're still currently moving. <laughs> and so uh, not everything is spit spot spam clean. I live on the first floor. There's actually only one bedroom and it is upstairs. There's th that's the bedroom. Um, but there are two of us. So, um, the living room is my bedroom. So <laughs> I have the open concept bottom floor with the kitchen and the living room that is now a bedroom and the bathroom. At least I have the bathroom on my floor, which is good. I guess <laughs> plans for today. Uh, it is, it is noon. Exactly. And, um, I haven't eaten anything yet today, which is really bad. I need to go eat something. Um, and I may or may not be traveling to my college town today. Might happen today, might not happen today. We will see. I'm also currently making um, Christmas presents for all of um, my wonderful friends here on YouTube. So I'll give you a little sneak peek, but each envelope, because these are all drying because they're stamped, um, each envelope that I have is gonna have a little Merry Christmas stamp on there with a little reindeer. So I'm going to Disney World for the first time ever in January. Like that has been one of my biggest dreams in my whole entire life is going to Disney World. I am a Disney freak. I love Disney. Disney costs a lot of money. And so I have been saving my money for going to Disney. Middle of November hit where everyone is buying Christmas presents and I'm like, right i have to buy christmas presents i was buying stuff for my family and everything and realized like i don't have a lot of money left currently and i need to save money for disney and i by the way this is going i won't have money to go to disney i love all of my booktube friends so 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 dearly but i cannot afford to buy everybody a book like it is not possible even if I didn't go to Disney, even if I wasn't saving up money to go to Disney, I still probably wouldn't buy a book for every single one of my booktube friends. Like, it's just not possible. I have so many wonderful, amazing friends that I cannot afford to buy a book for every single person. And I feel bad for not buying my friend a book if I bought another friend a book, you know? I just feel horrible leaving people out because I've been put in that situation before and I just hate that feeling. So what I've decided to do is for all my booktube friends um, is I'm giving them a little envelope and um, I'm going to be um, putting two things in that envelope. One is going to be 
a Christmas card um, that I'm going to be hand making and then another one is a little um, postcard size um, hopefully it works out hopefully hand-drawn copy of their favorite book cover they could use it as a bookmark I was thinking possibly an ornament you could put punch a hole in it hang it on the Christmas tree and there's your favorite book as an ornament um, I was gonna possibly laminate them but again I live in the bum country of Texas now and um, there is no UPS store near me to go laminate stuff so <laughs> So that's what I've been currently doing. I've been getting, I've been doing, trying to get all the cards done first and then I'll get started on the um, actual drawing part of it. I hope that everyone's okay with that. I, I know that a lot of people give books on Christmas on booktube, but I don't have the money to. <laughs> um, so I hope, I hope everyone understands. And I just, I love all of my friends and I never want anybody to feel left out. So that's why I am doing cards instead and so hopefully people like that and pe hopefully the um drawings will turn out well <laughs> oh my gosh i forgot to update you on what i'm reading that's what the whole thing is about the um <laughs> i'm actually currently reading one thing and then i'm about to start the audiobook for another thing so i'm currently reading i think it's called beauty and spring by katie wild this is a 80 70 page novella i think i'm like 60 percent of the way through i'm gonna finish it today i'm mainly reading this book because it's part of this series like a seasons series where each book is about a different season or something and i really wanted to read them in order because ruby dixon has written one of them and i'm trying to read all ruby dixon dixon's backlist so i have to start with the book one which is this one which i'm very <laughs> I'm very hesitant on continuing it um, because I looked on Goodreads and Izzy from Happy For Now um, read this book and rated it on Goodreads and um, she basically said that it's a trash can dumpster fire of a book so I'm kind of scared to read the rest of it now. But then I am going to be starting Fire in His Blood by Ruby Dixon. I'm going to be rereading it because I need to continue on with this series and I think I've only read up to book four but I've forgotten everything. So, and I know that past characters pop up in the newer books. So, um, I want to remember who everyone is and everything. So I'm going to reread them. I'm glad and happy to reread them. Um, because it's been a while since I've read some dragon books. I'm very excited. This one is, yeah, a dragon shifter post-apocalyptic one where basically, um, a portal opened up in the sky one day on earth and dragons ended up flying through and decimating almost the entire world. And there are little camps here and there of human survivors and this woman is a part of it until she gets kicked out of that camp and placed on top of an abandoned building as a human sacrifice to this dragon so hopefully the dragon will leave them alone um and turns out when the dragon comes um that may or may not be his mate also the beauty and spring one um is a very loose retelling of beauty and the beast um and it's like is it it's like a shifter possibly i honestly don't know i'm kind of confused but anyway yeah that's what i'm reading currently um i'm gonna go eat breakfast and um go hang out with family and pets so i'll chat with y'all later Okay, so I ended up finishing Beauty and Spring by Katie Wilde on my iPad. I need to charge it. I want to read the next one, but I'm, my iPad's only at 4% um, right now, so I may read it on my phone. Um, I want to read the next one. Um, but this one, I think I'm going to give it a 2.5. Sorry if you can hear noises. The dogs are in here. <laughs> um, and they're itching and walking around. So um, I think I'm going to give it 2.5 out of 5 stars. It just wasn't like memorable to me. Not a lot happened that was really memorable. Also, since it was a novella, it just, 
it wasn't all that well developed. I've read way better Katie Wilde books, like way better. If it was a full length book and we got more backstory about the two characters and there was just more time because she's like in this mansion for like a month or two months, I don't remember. Um, and time passes really fast throughout this book because it's a novella. If it would have like slowed down and gone through it slower, like it would have been so much better. Um, but overall, it's just a middle of the road. Okay book, nothing really that great about it um 2.5 stars that's what i'm gonna give it so uh, i don't get why izzy hated it <laughs> i know it's not necessarily like that good but i don't know izzy talk to me about why you despised this book like you said on goodreads so i'd love to know okay the next one is by ella good and i believe it is beauty in summer i think that's the next one possibly or it's beauty in autumn by ruby dixon i'm not sure but all of them apparently are Beauty and the Beast retellings, which I didn't know. I thought they just had something to do with um, seasons and stuff, but all of them are Beauty and the Beast retellings. So I'm gonna go download the next one on my phone, I think, and I'm gonna read it for a little bit. Um, but my iPad is gonna die soon, so I get charged that. So I can't read it on my iPad. I think I might start a physical book later, possibly. Um, I'm actually not driving to my college town today. I woke up too late to do it. <laughs> um, it's an hour away and... Um, they were still unpacking to do from the car and everything. So didn't really have all that much time, but um, I think I might just like also start my audiobook and do my Christmas presents or continue on with my Christmas presents because that still needs to happen. Um, I still need to do that. So so it's a little lighter. I'm two hours of the way through um, Fire and His Blood by Ruby Dixon. I love Ruby Dixon, you guys. Like I love her. <laughs> um, This series is just so unique and like so much fun and so creative and i really like this series oh i love it okay while i was doing that i was making my cards so i'll show you just one so there's the front of one there's aramis um there's her card um i am how many do i have left one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18 18 more so i'm thinking i'm probably like halfway through possibly so i've been doing that while listening to the audiobook and then i also want to let y'all know if you are also gluten-free like me please try this specific granola bar so before i knew i had celiac disease when i was like i found out i had it when i was like seven so before that point i was eating anything and one of my favorite snacks as a kid was the nature valley like green granola bars it wasn't until i found these granola bars that i have found something that is as similar as that so these granola bars are like the green nature valley ones but they're gluten-free so if you like those granola bars and you can't have them anymore like me um this one is the kind simple crunch peanut butter one so yeah get this exact one there's so many different kind of like kind bars um but this one is really really good i also like their um almond Salt, salted almond one I forget the name of it but that one's really good but it hurts my teeth because they're like whole almonds and like the whole bar is really crunchy um but this one doesn't hurt my teeth so I really like these and really recommend for a gluten-free snack if you're looking for something to eat that's gluten-free okay so I got a package in the mail and I already opened it but I wanted to share with y'all what I got and so my lovely friend Desi over at Genki Reader. I'm linking her channel down below. Oh no, the little note got smushed. Um, she sent me an early Christmas present, which is Where Winter Finds You by J.R. Ward. I haven't read this one yet, but this is one of the books a part of the Black Tiger Brotherhood series. And I am of course collecting this series. So thank you so much, Desi, for this present. I love J.R. Ward and the Black Tiger Brotherhood. So I can't wait to read this whenever it comes to the point where I have to read it. I'm reading the black dagger brotherhood and the black dagger or blood legacy dagger i don't remember the other series what it's called but i'm reading those in publication order so i think i have to read the next the next book i have to read is a part of the black dagger legacy series and then i have to read i think it's called the savior next after that so this book is a couple books away from me, but it's very close, so I can't wait to dive in. So thank you so much, Dizzy, for this Christmas present. I love you oh so very much. Plan on unboxing things on here too daily, because I have some things in the mail 
coming that I will unbox for y'all on camera. So whatever I get in, in the mail, I will for sure unbox it for y'all in my vlogs. But I'm waiting on a few things in my Secret Santa that I'm doing. Um, a bunch of uh, friends and I are doing a Secret Santa. And um, uh, I have to wait for a couple more things to come in the mail. Or just one more thing to come in the mail. And then I have to make one more thing. Or two more things, I don't remember. Um, and then put the secret stand all together and then send it off. And that has to happen really soon. So I'm gonna have presents for my um, family that I ordered um, that will be coming in soon as well. But they possibly won't come in for a couple other days um, because um, I did like the no rush shipping because I don't need them to be here as soon as possible, just before Christmas. And so I like how Amazon is doing now. I don't know if they've always done this, but I really like how they give you the option of doing a no rush shipping. You can do that and then you can get $2 credit for like anything digital and so i like doing that because just waiting a couple days for a package just bought me an ebook you know so i really like that so if y'all haven't done that yet do it i know this day and age we're very impatient we want things right then and there but like sometimes it's worth the wait you know it pays off so i really recommend that if you haven't done that okay i know the lighting in here is really bad i'm really sorry um i'm just really so crazy my hair looks at the moment let's take this out um it's actually been a very long time since i've updated you last time i updated you i got way more cards done and um i ended up going with my mom to the grocery store because in our little small town, it takes like 20 minutes to drive to the nearest town that has a big grocery store like H-E-B. And I need H-E-B because H-E-B has a lot of gluten-free products. So a little like grocery store that's self-run by people here uh, probably doesn't have a lot of gluten-free products for me. So um, we drive to H-E-B and we got a bunch of stuff. But I did get a lot of fun cooking products and so hopefully I can start up my new YouTube channel that I'm planning on starting up very soon. I'm going to try and start a um, celiac or gluten-free related channel and so I'm very excited for that. Okay, I grabbed him because he was crying for attention. I went and got a bunch of stuff for things I can make on that channel. Um, if you have any ideas for me for a gluten-free or celiac channel, just let me know. I plan on starting it up very soon. What time is it? It is 9.15. Um, for the rest of the night, I plan on finishing the front of all of my cards, um, like the names and everything, like the fronts of them, then hopefully address them, address them. And while I'm doing that, I'm probably going to be watching some booktube because I'm so mad because I got like my watch later playlist down to like 70 videos, which is the lowest it's probably ever been. And then the last two days, so many people have posted and it's over 100 again. And uh, y'all, why do you have to post so freaking much? <laughs> I love all of you, but y'all post so much and I can never get my, I don't know if I'll ever be able to get my watch later playlist down to zero. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's a goal for Vlogmas. By the end of Vlogmas, I'll have my watch later playlist down to zero. I highly, highly doubt that, but let's see if I can do it. <laughs> but it's like either watch a YouTube video or listen to an audiobook. Like, I want to read, but I also want to watch a video, so I don't really know what to do about that. Tell me how you balance that. I'd love to know. So I think this is going to be my last update for the day because I really don't have anything else I'm going to be doing for the rest of the night, except for doing what I just said. But I guess I'll just update you tomorrow for my day two vlog. So I will see you then. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon in my day two reading vlog. Bye, y'all.